Hey, I'm KIC. Thanks to Grab the Games for the key we're using to play today. I'm going to do my best to make the first few minutes of this as tutorial-like as possible because Medieval Shopkeeper Simulator, while fun, is a little bit uh, difficult to get into, I'm just going to say. So stick with me for a couple minutes and uh, I'll show you how to get going in the game and then stick with me for some more crazy shopkeeping. Shopkeeper Simulator action. Right now we're going through the tutorial. You got to jump to keep to keep going all right so click on the box player stats blah 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 food money all these things we'll talk about this stuff a little later merchant book all right so let's open up the merchant book you're going to be in this a lot you open this with good old t key yep focusing on stuff the warehouse is where all your stuff is in storage so the way the game works you have your own inventory and then you have stuff in storage so all this stuff you see right up here this is your stuff that's in storage you actually have 30 logs you have 20 stones, etc. You don't actually need to take the key. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that right now because you know why? Because you can just hit E to open the door. What we are going to do though to kind of start off with is we're going to take some logs. So the way we do that is to click on whatever we want on the left and then click on how many we want on the right. So we're going to take, uh, I don't know, we'll take 10 logs. We'll take 10 stones and uh, what else are we going to take here? I don't know. Uh, we could do... You know, let's just do... 15 logs and that'll be fine. So, yeah, they're just kind of hovering. That's the way it works. You're going to see that we have a stall set up right in front of the house. But we can't really do anything with it right now. So, before we do that, I need to introduce you to my cat. Say hi. Yeah, I know. You're hungry. We'll get around to you later. So, we got to get a stall. So, the way to do that is uh, really rather straightforward. So we go over here to this post that says free. You're going to click on that guy, hit E. You got a stall in the merchant book now. So we got to go over to here, all the way over to this one right here. Colorful house, colorful horse. We're going to click the box. We're going to say the little check box, buy stall, pay zero coins. Yes, we're going to go ahead and do that. And... Um, Basically, that's about it. Yes, there it goes. Apparently, I couldn't click on yes. You get some sounds that say, hey, good job, you bought your stall. And look at that, the colorful horse. Yeah, I don't know if you can rename it. Uh, I guess not. It's just random, whatever you get. There's some other stuff going on, and we'll talk about that as we get along the way. You'll notice you have a couple of different spots here that are slightly different color. That's so you can basically feature stuff you'd like to sell. Now, one of the big things you should do right away once you've done this, is go start digging crap. There you go. So just go up to stuff on the ground. You can hit E a few times. You'll dig it up. You walk over it to pick it up. Grass, dirt, stones, etc. You might not think they're useful. Worms, they are. Trust me, they are useful. We'll just dig up a few more of these. I was really hoping that we would get a couple of flowers, or at least a flower. And the reason why is those sell for good money. So here, let's try over here. Periwinkle? Periwinkle. You'll find sometimes that it's a little finicky about whether it wants to actually jump up and hop into your inventory or not, but usually it'll play nicely. Okay, we'll just do one more here. There we go. Perfect. So there are a couple of different things going on here. When we come around to this side and we hit the closed button, that's going to turn the store on so that it's open for business. So it doesn't hurt to have a couple of things on display. We're going to right click... I think I missed. Let me try that again. Um, left click to pick it up. There we go. It's a little wonky sometimes. Let me right click. There we go. Right click on the kind of, it's hard to see, the little spot behind the dot. That's going to be our item there. And then we're going to go ahead and do some crafting. So to do that, we're going to hit tab. That's going to open up our crafting menu. We're going to make a bunch of sticks. So I'm just clicking, I don't know, I did about 10, I guess. Honestly, I don't even know how many I did. We can't do a whole lot right now just because, well, we don't really have a whole lot of stuff. We can make some wood dust. We could do a furniture starter kit. There are a few different things we could do. We could also do a work kit. These are a lot of fun. I like doing these. So we're going to go ahead and uh, make a work kit or two. And in fact, we'll make two of them. If we can get lucky enough to sell a couple of these, we'll be in business. Otherwise, we'll just use one. And then the thing to keep in mind, too, is if we need more stuff, you got to go back inside to get it. I mean, we can go over here and try and do it like this, but you can't take items out here. You got to go inside 
to access your stuff. Or there technically is the warehouse if you go run over to it anyway. We're not going to worry about that. Let's put a couple of sticks on the box over here or on the, the cart. So we'll just right click to fill it up with sticks. And I think I want to put one of these guys. We'll put that right here. Now, if I try and use any of these other slots, you're going to see that they're locked. So I'm not going to go through all of them. Just trust me when I say that they're locked. Before we start doing anything, you got a really big, super important thing you need to do. You need to go back into your merchant book, select an item, and then at some point here, you got to tell people how much it costs. Because right now it's set to nothing. So enter a new selling price. So I'm going to say this sells for 40 gold. And then we're going to go over to our sticks here. Now, if you look at a log, the way you find out how much you should be charging for things is you kind of look over here and you go, so this you can buy for 24. So I can sell it for 40. I could probably sell it for 45. You know what? We might even be able to do a little more. If we go over here to logs, you buy a log for four. A stick, you buy for 3.2. So we're going to sell our sticks for six. And then if we go to the work kit, those you can order, you can buy for 32. I think we can get about 80. There's a bit of a, a range of somewhere around two to three times the price. We might even be able to get away with 50 on this. Let's try, let's try 50 and then let's see where the stick's at. Six, I think six is about the best I can get away with. So that's it. That's basically it right there. That's how you get started in the game. We're going to hit E to start. Um, No. Why can't I... Why, there we go. Like I said, sometimes there are some weird targeting issues. But if you're able to look past that, there's a lot of fun to be had here. So we're just going to kind of wait at the stall. People will show up. They'll just kind of magically appear like that. I mean, hey, we are in a kind of weird world, so just run with it. This guy would like to buy some logs. Now, technically, we do have logs, but I kind of left them inside. So... Before we do anything, let's uh, let's tell him to wait. We'll be right back. So you're going to see he has a wait time right now of 120 seconds. So two minutes. That's plenty of time to go inside. And I haven't even introduced you to someone else yet. Let me go ahead and turn that off for now. I don't think we need that anymore. In fact, it's kind of in the way of certain things. So my bad. I, my apologies on that. We're going to grab uh, 10 of those. My bad. I You know, I play too many games. You got to hit T to close it. You can't hit escape. I haven't introduced you yet to Wiggles. Wiggles is my, my cat, randomly named. I didn't choose Wiggles. That's just what I went with. All right, this dude would like to buy some logs. Before we sell him some logs, I'm going to talk to him. And I'm going to click on this guy. It might not be obvious what it is, but it's basically a way to get recipes. So this guy, I'm going to say not yet because I haven't put my price down on logs. We're going to say they're going to sell for eight. And in fact, let's uh, just go ahead and say, boom, done. So this guy is waiting for three logs to be passed to him. So now we have to select our logs. I'm going to get close to him because we got to right-click them onto him. There you go. You see, check, check, check. He's done. Boom. And that's basically what we're going to do. You're going to be able to craft stuff. You're going to be able to sell stuff. And uh, there are different quests, different things going along. There will be a recipe that comes along later with this just to give you the heads up before you run away. You're going to end up with it in your inventory. You're going to click on it over here, and then you'll consume it. There you go. For those of you tuning in just for the tutorial, that's everything you need to know. For everyone else, let's have some fun and um, talk to people here. All right, buddy. Dang it. Why won't you give me anything useful? All right, you're all here. Ah, see, I, I'm telling you, sometimes you just it's just a little finicky. All right, there you go. That worked. The left click kind of acts as like a hover almost, so it ended up... Uh, you want some rocks. All right, that's cool. So sometimes it'll just... Uh, I don't know. It'll be wonky. I think we can get three for a rock. So we're going to do that. Now, something else you can do if you're still paying attention for tutorial type stuff. Let's see. I've already tried to ask you. Nope, nothing good. You can do show displayed items, and you can try and point them to the stuff that's on display. It may or may not work. They might look at it and go like, nope, not what I want. So we'll just go ahead and do accept trade, and we'll give you some rocks. Um, all right. I, okay, see you later, buddy. Come on back. New person here. New person. There's still all sorts of things we can do. Hi, this is a traveling merchant, which now has tooltips. Thank you. 
This is awesome. It needed the tool tips before. They were not here. Now they are. This is awesome. The traveling merchant is your way to get stuff without having to wait to buy stuff later. So technically, there's all sorts of tutorial stuff going on in here. I just, I haven't explained everything. I figure a lot of it you'll figure out as you go. But for everyone else that just wants to do stuff right now, yeah, there you go. Let's buy some logs right now. I, I don't want to buy all of them. So you know what? Never mind. We're not going to trade. Have a good day. You want you want to sell too many logs. Next! Hello. You want to buy some rocks? Can I get a recipe or anything from you? Look at that. All right. Boom. Peasant gave you a recipe. Let's learn the carrot cake recipe. That actually sounds really delicious. So, um, let me show you the displayed items. Anything? Nope. You're not interested in anything else. Oh, the price is too high. I missed that the last time. I was wondering why the guy ran away. It's because the price was too high. My bad. Yeah, you'll you'll learn that as you go along the way. All right, buddy. What do you? What would you like? Uh, you gave me a recipe, so that's awesome. Can I interest you in other things on display, like periwinkle? All right. Well, let me go get a couple of carrots. We're gonna pull them from the storage from the warehouse. We'll just take those guys. They sell for 0.8, so let's try and sell them for three. That's going to be my hope. I'm going to guess that's going to be too expensive for this guy. So, yeah, I, I had a feeling. That's all right. This is early days. A couple bucks won't matter. Not going to sweat that. We're going to be selling bigger stuff before too long. Sticks, boom, done. Let's talk to you. No recipes. Um, sure. I'm just gonna... So, oh, wow. That's still too pricey for sticks? Wow, I thought I could get away with six. Alright, my bad. Apparently prices in this game have changed since uh, the last update. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I was able to do that before. My bad. Alright, well, whatever. It's all good. Can I interest you in anything else? No. Alright. But you will take a bunch of rocks from me for two gold a pop. There you go. Click, 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 click. It gives us another eight gold. That's exciting. Little countdown over here means we have five customers remaining. Now, those customers do include the traveling merchants. So just because you see five customers doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be exactly what you get. I'm going to go ahead and accept that trade just to make sure logs can sell for that price. There you go. Thank you very much, buddy. We're going to have to buy some stuff here once we reach the end of the day. Because we're going to have to replenish our stock. So there's always there's always something to do in this game. Nothing from the conversation. I'm going to buy those logs. Yes. We'll go ahead and buy those. Thank you. Appreciate that. That was not a bad price. I mean, what are these guys selling for? Uh, that was actually a better price than what I get from my supplier. That's interesting. I didn't think that would be the case. All right. Well, that's cool. You want to buy some sticks. Great. Can I interest you in anything else? Oh, yeah. No. Um, I'm going to accept that trade because my experience has been that I will... Uh, let's see. E, 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 E. I'll ask them to look at the stuff on the shelf instead, and then they'll be like, Yeah, I'll only take three sticks. I'm like, wait a minute, you just wanted five. I'm like, I end up going, you wanted five, but now you only want three. Why? I don't know, it's just the way it is. Hello, sir, you would like to buy some logs. Can I get a free recipe from you? All right, no problem. Let's, let's go ahead and do the log trade. Uh, I need to go grab a few more, though. We're kind of running low on logs. So here, we'll just go ahead and do that. Here we go. Got a bunch of logs. We are good to go. Did I not buy 10 logs? Maybe they'll be delivered tomorrow? Where are they? There's a rock right there. That's my rock. You can't have that. Yeah. Hey. I thought I got the stuff directly from the merchant when you buy from her. Did that change in an update? I feel like I'm missing something here. Logs? No logs. Oh, I bought sticks. That's why they were the right price. Or the, that price. Duh. I bought sticks, not logs. My bad. I thought I was buying logs. I bought sticks. Okay. 
Yeah, sometimes these things look a little similar and I didn't pay attention to the tooltips, so... That's what happens. That's okay, though. It's not a big deal. Ah, come on. Do you... What, what are you... You want logs. There you go. Can I pick these guys up? Thank you. And just like that, we are done for the day. So that is our first successful day. Now, there are a whole host of things you can do here. You can run around. You can go see what the other merchants have for sale. As you'll see, there are a lot of different ingredients and things that you can get. I mean, there's just a whole host of stuff. Crystal mushrooms, cheese, wheat. I mean, there's just, there's a lot of stuff here. We could go to this guy. You're going to sell different foods and stuff. I mean, this guy has a lot of different interesting things. He also sells recipes. Notice how expensive these are. That's why it's pretty awesome when you can get one for free from a customer. This one's going to have weapons and armor. We're not going to worry about that right now. And then if we go all the way down here, there's going to be a fisher that you can talk to, a little fisherman here. And if you deliver certain things to him, he'll hook you up with stuff. So if you give him six worms and uh, three cooked meat, I believe, he'll give you 67 gold. So now how does that compare? That's a great question. So the meat's going to cost 2.4. The worms are going to cost 1.6. So if you figure you're taking six worms at six gold and another six point, you know, that's basically 10 gold for the worms. And then you need some meat. So how many meats did he want? Three, I think. Hey. Was that right? Yeah, he only wants three cooked meats. That's a great deal. Let's go ahead and take that. We're going to get a lot of money out of that one, in fact. We don't technically have enough worms, but uh, we can take care of it. So if we pull up our orders over here... Nope, that one doesn't list under orders. Okay. Well, I thought that one listed under orders. Oh, it's under contracts. That's why. Duh. Orders... Yeah, orders is something else. We'll get to orders in a moment. That's a contract. Now, I think that means we have an infinite amount of time to do that. I don't know, because other ones do have time. So some of the other things you can do here... You can go over to, like, one of these houses... And you can knock on the door, and they'll perhaps open the door for you, and they'll want stuff like, hey, I want some raw meat and some mushrooms, and I'll give you 45 bucks for that. Done. And I also want four leather and one coal. Um, maybe? I don't know. Can we get leather and coal at this point? We could get leather. No, we could get... No, that's... Hmm, you want something else. So you want... You want a... Ooh, what do you want? I'm not sure what they want. They want that, whatever that is. They want a furnace work kit and leather. So we would have to get leather somewhere because here's what the interesting thing about this. We don't have leather yet, so we can't order it. So we'd basically have to find leather first, which probably means buying it from someone. And that would be this guy right here, I believe. If you have... If anyone's going to have leather, it'll be this guy. There we go. So we could buy one leather for 15 gold. And then that'll give it to us such that we can order it. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. Let's, uh... Let's do that. So we're going to buy one leather. I'm going to show you now that that is now in the store. So we can buy that for less than what he charges. Because, hey, he's a merchant. He's got to have a little markup. So we have one leather. Let's go ahead and order... Uh, let's order four of these. Now, the way you order stuff is by clicking on something and then clicking on the amount to order. So if you want four, you got to do like three and one. Or just do five and deal with getting more than you really need. Now, we're not going to submit that order just yet. I want to see if I can still get this order from this peasant here. Hello? Hello? So you will still offer me that. Great, let's do that, because the furnace work kit is not going to be that difficult to make, and in fact, it's something that we're going to make eventually anyway. So all we need is a couple of coal and an existing work kit, which, hey, turns out we already have one of those. How about that? So we'll go inside to grab... Actually, here, let's, let's drop some stuff off. We're going to drop all the carrots off. We do that by right-clicking into the box, and we need to learn a new recipe for stuffed meat logs. That sounds awesome. And we're going to drop the worms for now. And we're also going to drop the herbs. That was grass, mind you, that we picked up. We'll drop the dirt. And let's pull some coal. We're going to pull some coal dust out of the warehouse. 
And then let's see, we have some of that stuff on order. I think I might want to order a little bit of coal dust, so we'll order, say, five of that. We definitely need to order some logs. So we're going to do some logs. We're going to do some stones. Now, something to kind of watch for here is eventually you're going to order so many things that, and you need to be watching right here, that you're going to see that it takes longer than a day to deliver. So right now, we can order all this stuff and it'll only take a day. But if I throw a bunch of more stuff in here, it's going to add to the number of days needed to deliver because, you know, Amazon doesn't ship that quickly in this particular village. So there you go. Uh, what else do we need to do? So I'm going to go back to my orders page. So we have, see, we have contracts, and then we have orders. They're slightly different. So we have meat and mushrooms and then leather and a furnace kit. So we have, let's go back to our warehouse. We have everything covered on the leather. We have the coal covered which is going to be for the furnace kit. And then we have some logs and some stones, which we're going to need to make additional kits. I'd like to start selling these because those are going to be really profitable. I'd also like to sell some periwinkles. I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get to sell any, actually. Uh, that's going to be most of our money right there. The periwinkles, man, they usually get pretty good profit. I'm going to drop that down to 45 again. Or maybe 40. I, I want to say like... 45 or 40 is what I can usually get for them. I think that's pretty good. Now, we'll get a little more into heavily into crafting tomorrow. But for right now, we're going to... Oh, look at that. I hadn't seen that yet. That's a new thing. So over here on the right side, we have popularity. It turns out that logs and sticks have different popularity. And even though periwinkles are popular, I cannot seem to sell any. Go figure. Key to the uncle's house is considered common. It's not very exciting. All right. Well, whatever. We're good. We are good. So here's where we're going to leave it for today. We're going to do some more stuff tomorrow that involves uh, probably a little cooking and some other stuff. We need to order some worms. So don't let me forget to order worms. We're going to order... Maybe we'll do 10 worms because... Sure. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and place that order. It's going to take a day to deliver. If we go back outside, I think we're going to find everything is basically good. And that is not ready yet. There will be a letter over here soon. I mentioned that earlier. It's not ready yet, but it will be available soon. So that's where we're going to leave it for today. We will come back tomorrow and do this again. And with any luck, we'll be able to fulfill some orders and some contracts. And we're going to make some money and move on to some more fun stuff. So it's a cool game. It just takes a little to get into because honestly, it's a little, uh, it's a little opaque, I think would be a fair way to say it. It's not the, it's not the most intuitive game out there, but it is pretty enjoyable. So I got you another one, Tone. Thanks for watching. See you later.